Whoa. Maybe I just turn this up a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Well, okay. There we go. If I'm leaning over here, is it going to hit it? Maybe. I'm just talking during my live streams. It's live. What's my dashboard say? It says things are good. Is a bug in my ear? What the heck? Where'd you come from, bug? Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Twitch and YouTube. Doing their things. Groovy. Okay. See my chat. Right there. Over here. Maybe over here. There. Now I can read it. What have I got here today? I got a Beowulf and a Stone Rhino 2. Let's paint them. Let's paint them as the third Dracons. If that's how you really say it. Hey, Bythron. Shaking my cam with my vigorous, vigorous mashings. Oh yeah, I should share my stream, actually. That's what I should do. All right, that guy's going to come off. I need more blue tack. Oh, is it sweaty in your house, Bythron? Sweaty over here. Ooh. Sweaty. Shareable link. Copy it. Over to Discord. Well, Keith. Keith might be in. Let's give him a flame. Oh. Throw it up on the... And also going up here, typing. All right, I need more blue tack. Typing should be good now. I don't think I just should need to type anymore. That's my blue tack. Let's look at my OBS. Let's look at my thing, my bobber. The barbarian you painted up. You thought it was interesting. You have a fan on you? Yeah. I want a fan on me. Can't have a fan on you though, during a live stream. Too noisy. Four fans in the hall? Dang, I only got three fans in my household. Yeah, I like your barbarian, he looks good. Definitely fun. So my microphone should be good. Let me know if it gets punchy. I turned up my audio, or the the volume button on it, so well, might have punched there. Might have to turn it down a touch. What are you bleeping about? My peeps are out camping again. And I'm home alone. It's time for painting and drinking. I'm gonna try out this Jim Beam apple. Let's take one right now. Let's see. Yeah, it smells okay. That's very sweet. Yeah, not the best. But it'll be okay. A little aperitif. Ivan, hello. You got cheap, I got three bottles of cheap vodka. From that swag drop off. I don't even like vodka, but now I have to. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you drink the whiskeys or the vodkas. A cheers is a cheers. Just keep it open. What I should have went for is the maple whiskey. Good old Canadian maple whiskey. Oh, well, I have a friend who works at a distillery and they give them free bottles of alcohol every month. And she just had too much, way too much alcohol. So she came and dropped it off. My wife was so delighted.
And I don't mind either. I like drinking. On the weekends. Not the weekdays. Unless it's a special occasion. Oh, this guy's heavy. Does it look like it's going to come off? Yeah, he's totally going to come off. I need a bigger one. Ugh. Um, hmm. Ah, there you are. It's not really bigger. Might work, though. Maybe I just need more, sh more shtick. Might have to glue that guy, actually. Let's see. Oh, no, the base is fine. I like to keep all my six millimeter stuff one millimeter thick. Oh, where'd you get the inspiration for your mini? Was it the Barbarian? That's the one you had inspiration for? I see what's going on now. Mr. Bythron. Drinking from tiny bottles is hilarious. Man, that leg. I never could get it right. It's too late for regrets. It's been 15 years. Time to get that guy painted. I took out all the mechs that I bought for my original star and then lost them. I couldn't find this one. I could find this one this time, but I couldn't find the rest. So that's a bummer. Mm. No, he's going to fall. What do I need? Maybe I just have to hold it. That's going to be a pain. Oh, well. Oh well. This guy could have been cleaned up a little better. All right, the Dracons. Yeah, he's a he's a chunk. I probably put him should have put him a little further forward on the base too. There's like nothing under these this foot. I'm gonna put a little something underneath that foot. Plugged up again. You base the oh, okay yeah because he's got a the barbarian has a red outfit and a white beard. Does he have a sack of goodies? I can't remember. There we go. That'll make me feel better. Yep, this guy's a tall boy. With big chunky legs. Okay, water. Brush water. <laughs> Santa Claus protects his sack with a warhammer. And... Brushes. What do you will do? I get my tools strewn about everywhere. Mm. Uh, yeah, this guy. Do I have my apothecary whiteout? I don't think I do. Oh, I buried him. <laughs> Drinking, brushing, uh, the brush, and the cat. Perfect. <laughs> All right, contrast apothecary white. What else are we going to need for this guy? Get some charred bits. So I think I have basilicanum gray out. Wildwood. There you are. I'm getting low on my Basilicanum Gray. Yeah, I'll probably need some Black Templar. And in yellow, yes, for the flamage. And for what else? Scarlet? No. Don't need you, Scarlet. Nope, nope. Agaros Dune, yes. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to base them with contrast. That's usually what I do these days, do all the basing and contrast, because contrast is really a base layer to wash in itself, so with a mild highlight. And then I'll work from there. It's a very satisfying speed paint. Rift Charger Gray. I think it's kind of bluish. I can't remember what the cockpit colors are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Griff Hand Orange. Let's see, those two should be good. Unless I want to go super bright. I'll do some lemon yellow and some flame orange. Muted or super bright? That's the question. I'm gonna go super bright, I think. Let's do it. I'll keep these out just in case. That's right. Max need to shine, Mr. Ivan. We're correct. All right. No, that's just my playlist. That's not what I want. No, I don't want to play myself. Playlist. That's not what. I'm... Dang you! Maraconza. I've been listening to your podcast, Ivan. I think you have a very good speaking voice. Very authoritative. And only a hint of a Danish accent. Well, that's not what I wanted. I want camo specs. There you are. Ah, oh, they went for a very dark cockpit jeweling with a cool color. Okay. Well, maybe I will take out the. Uh, Rift Charger Gray, then. Do I have my silver out? Doesn't look like it. How much of a cockpit do these guys got? This guy's only got a tiny bit. Same with this guy. Well, maybe I won't bother with the silver then. Okay. I'm ready. Ready to paint. Go back to chats. Chats, chats, chats. There we go. <laughs> A generic West Coast phone voice. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's true. Maybe it could be on, was it NPR? Okay. Let's get apothecary white. When did you come to America? Were you a teenager? Young adult? I was in the impression that you came after, uh, you probably what served in the military first? as your people do. Wow, this stuff really settled. Need one of those sweet vortex mixers. Bythorn's gonna do another barbarian. Very nice. Two thousand ish, yeah, I see. Yeah, my father in law moved to Canada in the mid 70s. No, no, mid 60s. Late 60s? Early 70s? Somewhere. Somewhere between mid 60s and mid 70s. Yeah, because my wife was born here. She was born in 72. So definitely before that. And he still has a super thick accent. But my Swedish mother in law, she doesn't have much of an accent at all. Oh. You hit at the 2020 mark. I've been in Calgary for 
15, 14, 14 years now. Which often feels like another country. Compared to Yukon. All right, I think it's mostly mixed. I can't just be shaking a bottle for half the stream. It's not that kind of show. My arm's tired now. I did not work that hard today, but I'm pretty tired out. Who's going to be your inspiration for your next barbarian there, Bythern? These are all primed with rattle can primer quite a while ago. But it's held up fairly well. It's a little bit thick. Definitely not as smooth as my... Oh, did I leave some flash? How did I miss that? Not as smooth as my airbrushing primer is these days, that's for sure. Ooh, he's got little rockets. Burwolf. <laughs> Hot and bothered with the bottle shaking. Bythorn's got a picture up. Very nice. So you're definitely drawing inspiration again from somebody. Did I leave that window up? Hope I did. You want unarmored barbarians? That's what the... Uh, those Dark Age Warriors will kind of be like. Uh oh. Some contrast decide to merge together. I don't know what the other one is. So I learned this technique from Camo Specs, B1B Flyer, for painting white armor. I thought it looked quite good. Though he usually does it over more of a cream color or like a wraith bone. And a straight white. But these guys are prime straight white, so that's just gonna how it's gonna be. That's going to be how it's gonna be. Is going to be how it is going to be. Every time I say it, it makes even less sense in my mind. I think I need more whiskey. Yeah, one thing about the uh Apothecary white is almost never splotchy. It's just too light. So yeah, this uh, Beowulf is not part of my original star. I got this one from some sort of Battletech Trading Group, BV Trader. They had reasonably priced mechs. Even though they came from the States, the shipping was still pretty good. It's definitely a good place to buy used mechs from. Or I bought it from the Sentry Box. I'm not sure which. But I think. I think it was BV Trader. And I think I got a Beowulf 2C from the sentry box. But it could have been another way around. I don't remember. Yeah, mechs in the Star Wars Stormtrooper scheme. Just put uh, all the black in the joints. With little black accents on the faces. Black weapons. Yeah, it's legit. All right, you can dry. Some you out of there. All right, Mr. Stone Rhino, you got a lot of flat surfaces. See, I jumped in for the uh, the clan Kickstarter, but most of the mechs I wanted are in Wave Two, so I don't think I'll be getting it anytime soon.
And when I do, I'll learn if I'm disappointed or not in the new stone rhino. It's going to be a little dark. Let's put it down here. Oh, bugs. It is nice seeing Battletech do well again. That's for sure. No one ever wants Battletech to fail, I don't think. No matter what, scummy people get their hands on it. It's bigger than all of us. <laughs> it's true. It's pretty close to Comstar there, Bython. Pretty darn close. Yeah, not the best prime job on these guys. Or this guy. Yeah, this era of battle mech is particularly atrocious in terms of building and looks. The older ones sometimes had weird poses or weird proportions, but you know, at least they're only like one or two pieces. And they usually had a ton of gribbly bits, which was nice. <laughs> it's true. I don't know what the differences are in Battletech. Like, what has changed over the years? I only ever play it sporadically. The legit Battletech. It never seems that different. Alpha Strike. Now there's a game. You got all your stuff in Wave 2 as well, Bythron? Yeah. And that's okay. That's where all the good stuff is. Hopefully. Most of what I've seen I've liked. This guy will pull a little bit more. Because all these flat surfaces. I have the Thundercats theme stuck in my head right now. And I don't know why. I have no idea what made Thundercats theme get stuck in my head. Oh, you backed as a late pledge? I don't think I'll make too much of a difference at the end. We'll probably see the game in stores like a million years before we get ours. That's okay. More to drink to banish Thundercats. What alcohol percentage is this anyway? 35%. I don't even remember what all I backed anymore. How I backed? The one with the stone rhino. And one with a bunch of other 3055 clan mechs. And I grabbed the, uh, the mechs from the first Battletech release, since I didn't have them. And they could be gotten for fairly cheap. And I did want them. Some pretty sweet mechs in there. For inner sphere stuff. I don't remember if I actually liked Thundercats or not as a cartoon. I liked it as a concept. I had friends who liked Thundercats, but I don't remember if I actually liked it. I don't think I ever collected the toys. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's still there. A Citadel paint handle might be good in this this case. This dude. This Duderson. Oh, a Citadel paint handle might not actually fit this either, so. Might just be fudged. Close. He's got the front panels, legs, his meaty calves. Everything 80s is new again. The new She-Ra cartoon is pretty spectacular. That's for sure. You find the uh, the citadel the citadel handles help even with these thinner bases. So I know some people say that they things fall out of them, but I don't know exactly what bases they are that are falling out. If they're just too small bases or what? Okay, dokie. There, he's grayed up. Except for that line. Let's get a little more green there. And then we'll darken it up, sure. Let's do it. Over here too, sure. All right. This brush feels like it needs a good washing. So I'm gonna do that now. You've used hex bases in the Citadel handles? Nice. I need to brush it. Have you been painting, Ivan? Or have you plans to paint? Or are you just working on rules? Oh, I found another co-worker used to play Warhammer when he was a kid. So there's two now. But this one's in his early 20s or late teens. So he's not going to come back anytime soon, I don't think. But the other guy, he's almost 30. I told him he's going to be back in the hobby soon. And then he swore at me. But I think he knows it's true. It's coming. Ooh, the Plastic Soldier Company. Soviets. Nice. Yeah, I still have mine sitting around waiting to get primed. They have not made it that far. My, uh, the British paratroopers, me and Bythron, split. It's a whole ton. Man, those... They leave at 20 and come back at 30, that's right. Or leave at, like, 16 here. Usually when you're a young teenager, you drop out of the Warhammer. And then come back around 30. Though some of us stick around till our mid-20s. And then come back. All right, dry brushing. That's what we're gonna do next. Well, let's dry brush some. Turn into stone, sure. And then we'll do a white. That's how we'll do it. With a brush, this brush. This tiny, a slightly dampened. Bythrin never left. You've been wargaming since. How long have you been wargaming? Would you say overall, Bythrin? I never wanted to leave. I just didn't have the money or the friends. I kept all my stuff though. Piece of. Oh, there you are. Piece of cardboard. Ugh. You got a Rado Can Prime? That always sucks.
So you've been wargaming since high school, so at least at least 20 years, right? Oh, that's not the guy I want to do. This guy's the way I want to do. I don't think I'm going to get a text from my family tonight, or a call or anything. Because I think their campground doesn't have much for cell reception. The RPGs. Yeah, I guess one thing I never did stop doing was collecting miniatures, because I always kept buying them over the years. Not necessarily quickly, or with the ferocity I've done in modern times. I was always about the miniatures, since about 90, I'd say. I always wanted Battletech miniatures, but I never got any until the mid-2000s, when Battletech started swinging back up again. I think they were expensive back in the day, that's why I never got any. Yeah. Yeah, primary, secondary hobby. Yeah, a lot of the kids I work with are also into sports, so that's always their primary hobby. Too? You effing with me? Battletech were the first minis you got, Bythron? Very nice. Do you still have the first Battletech minis? I bet you do. <laughs> How old is your kid? I think it's okay to not be into music. My daughter's favorite band is Mother Mother. And they're a pretty good band, so... I cannot fault her that. I don't know if you've heard about Mother Mother in America. Not sure how big they are. They're definitely a Canadian band. So we hear them in Canada quite a bit. I was surprised she was into music. I wasn't sure she ever would be. I'm not into music so much these days. I still like music. Mottled it up. Thirteen, yeah. Hmm. Let's see, when I was 13, I was listening to... Let's see what that is. Grade 8? Probably like Weird Al Yankovic, mostly. And whatever my parents listened to, which was mostly rock. But they're kind of moving into country at the time. I still like the rock. What else did I listen to? When I was 13. I know that was right before I started listening to more punkish music. That's when 
Green Day and Offspring came out on the radio when I was 14, I think. And I started paying more attention to the grunge music of the times. Finally took note of Nirvana, people have been talking about for years. It's like, oh, Nirvana actually is a pretty good band. I didn't really meet any metalheads until I went back to Whitehorse. That was the late 90s. Then I was exposed to more metal. <laughs> All Ivan's money. Warhammer and music CDs. Oh, I spent way too much money on music CDs. That was definitely the Warhammer of the day. Price-wise. It's crazy expensive. Ah, oh. you traded off your first minis, Bythron? Like all of your first minis, or just some of them? Albatross. I can't even picture what the albatross looks like. Ivan's been on a huge. Nirvana trip. Nice. Yeah, I listen to the old guy radio station mostly when I'm in my car, if I'm not listening to YouTube, which is all alternative themed music. From the 90s up to current. All aimed at Gen Xers and Xennials like us. Okay, so you didn't trade off all your mechs. Well, that's a good bythron. But yeah, I can understand. I remember I had traded my G.I. Joes once when I was a kid and I was disappointed. I never traded anything ever again. That I liked at least. It have to be something I absolutely had no interest in. I was going to trade it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Pearl Jam is classic rock now. By definition, for sure. I don't know how long it's going to be until it's oldies. Maybe I need a bigger brush. Let's do it. You? Let's use you. Yeah, the stone ran was a bit of a slog. Oh yeah, there we go. That's firing for effect. <laughs> they play Allison Jeans on the oldie station. That's right, down in a hole and never coming out. Remember I had one friend who loved the Spice Girls. And I asked him once, like, why do you why do you love the Spice Girls so much? He said, well, they're really hot. It's like, yeah, but you're not looking at them when you're listening to them. It's just a CD, man. I'm just driving around listening to the Spice Girls all the time. I never hated the Spice Girls, though. How could you hate the Spice Girls? You posted in Discord? Did you uh, message me, or were you putting up somewhere else? So you traded off some of your unseens? Oh yeah. 
How could you know, though, that they'd be unseen when you bought them? Did you know? You know, at one point in time, unseens were still weren't too hard to get. Even in the late 2010s. Because I picked up a unseen Warhammer. A Locust. A couple of Crusaders. Maybe that's it. Oh yeah, some of the 3055 Clan mechs. Those guys are usually more expensive, though. But not a stone rhino, because those are impossible to get. Except for Recaster Guy. You can always get them from Recaster Guy. Or you could, at least. Alright. How do I feel about that? I feel alright. What's next? What's next? Come back. Edge height a little bit with the bright white. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you guys play Axis and Allies and have Britney Spears and Spice Girls in the background? Oh my. Yeah, I'll definitely check out those mechs that you probably have message me then after. Fly, you get away from my whiskey. I swear to God, Fly. Why are you even here? I don't need your company. Get. Um, white. Hmm. I have some white ink. Yeah, sure. Let's do a little white ink. You're gonna head off, have a little drink. See you later, I've... I'm gonna keep painting. Until I get super sleepy. Oh. Have yourself a good one, thanks for stopping by. I'll be there on the Discord. You know it. Oh, just the one mech. Okay. A list of mechs you're going to use to replace the unseens. <laughs> you got some Savannah Masters? Those are always, uh, tiny. Tiny little Savannah Masters. All right, let's go back up. Get you. Get you. Need some more ink. Scoos, a scoos. I like the regular Dracons color scheme too, which is intermediate blue with red 
trim. So my steel blue would, or steel gray would work really nice with it. Steel blue gray color. Trim in the edges. Hmm, this side ended up being a bit heavy. Here, a little there. Just trying to run away. But I'm ready. I know you're trying to run. Gigantic, heavy beast. Yeah, I should probably pick up some Citadel paint handles for these heavy boys. Well, they're starting to become a little less glaring on the camera. Ooh, chameleons and commandos aren't bad. I like commandos. I have one of the older commandos with its arm kind of going out like that. That's a really cool pose. It's too bad they didn't stick with that one. Another freaking piece of flash. Yeah. Okie doke. That'll do for that guy. Whoa. What are we gonna do next? The charred bits? Yeah, let's do the charred bits. So what is it, the... I have to go look, look at my notes. Well, and by notes, I mean camo specs online. Go back. It takes forever to load because it's camo specs. There we go. Black on the right arm and left a leg. Okay. So that's the right arm. That's the left leg. I might do some two brush blending here. And I might, I mean, I am. I wonder if I need more space on my palette. I think he only did like the mid leg and the forearm. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. 
Let's try it like that. Yeah, it's true. The salt mechs are super expensive. But light mechs aren't that cheap either anymore. Really. Black Templar and this little can of McCree. That one always mixes up nice. Silicon M. Gray likes to get crusty. At least it didn't tear the nozzle off this time. Which is why I'm low on Silicon M. Gray. That's right. I remember now. Alright. Black and gray. Black is bottom, gray is on top. Another bit of flash. Dang it. Let's put a little black in there. Right, don't fall off. Come on. I need you to stay up. Now where's that flash? Where did I see it? Can't see it now. All right, right arm. There are a few mechs you'd like to have two of, like the Fireball or some of the Word of Blake mechs. Yeah, I love Word of Blake mechs. They had some really cool designs. Back to it. Now we're on the leg. Black Templar, Silicanum Gray. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for nothing, pill bottle. Oh, those battle mechs. There we go. Yeah, where to Blake are perfect opposition. And the battle armor is really cool, too. Everybody can get together and fight some where to Blake. Oh yeah, uh, 
Wasn't that TRO 2750 or something like that? Told you all the Star League mechs. I remember the Lance a lot. It's pretty cool. Or the Galahad, which became the Glass Spider. Like the uh, Olive Drab Star League. Yeah, that'd be tight. And yeah, a lot of the Unseen mechs, of course. Like all of them. Except for... No, I think it is all of them. All of them are in the Star League. Pretty sure. Uh-oh. The toesies are too close together. Got paint on it. Oh, well. Yeah, I wrote down what all the mechs are on the bottom of these bases. I'm really happy I did that. Because <laughs> I would not remember some of them. I might remember the Beowulf, or I might not. It's hard to say. I'll always remember the Stone Rhino. Always. Alright, you... Come back and touch these up after. For sure. You never got the Lancelot. Me neither. You have Highlanders, Black Knight, and Exterminator. Don't know if I have any of those, honestly. Mm-hmm. Just about done this. I'm done with the blend there anyway. Let's come back with a, a Highlander Burial. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. I 
Oh yeah, you got some of your Max painted up as Northwind Highlanders, didn't you? Not bad. Oh, except for there. Okay. Go over here. Some contrast down there. Let's see. Put a little white in there. Can we blend it out? Yeah, you. How about you? Anything a little sloppy here? I don't fall over. Yeah, you didn't get the tartan from uh, from Brent. Uh, was it Brett? Brett. No, I didn't get my Tomb Kings. But maybe I will someday. Who knows? Okay, the next will be the flames, which go around the body. Generally one way. I'm just going to look at the picture again. Or a few pictures. I'm going to go the picture looking. Tartan's not easy to do, that's for sure. Well, okay, I don't know that for sure. When I look at it, it looks looks tough. Oh, Kyle offered to paint the Tartan. Nice. See these guys? Yeah, they got like a flame running up the leg and torso. Doesn't show the back. And if I copy it. Paste. Images. There's a cool mech warrior online. One. And just kind of goes up the leg, over the torso, up the shoulder. It doesn't show the back on that one either, though. There's a uh, a beefcake guy called the Rockin's Plunder. That's not what I'm looking for. Not making bare chested dudes. How about that one? Okay. Is simple better? That's the question. And yeah, not too many examples. Not too many people have done this scheme. Scheme. I do like that one. All right, let's try to emulate it. Oh yeah, the Mech Warrior Online King Crab. That's not too hard of a one to get though. Like uh, if you go to Insane Kangaroo on eBay, you should be able to get a good one. But it'll be a big chunk of metal. Oh yeah, you still got to finish your Beastman. I know someone who's got to finish your uh, Revenant Calvary. Yep. 
just sitting there waiting to be finished i've been thinking about the the purple which i like i like the purple but i think it's too intense for revenants so I think what I should be doing is some hatching on it and then maybe another thin down wash of gray and then purple maybe maybe that's the way to go with it oh. yeah it's true I mean you can't game with them right now still they should get done and they will get done when they get done. When will that be? Hopefully soon. And I can drop them off to you. And then I should get to airbrushing some vehicles for both of us. Airbrush all the vehicles. Let's see. What's like a sneak? Sneak of flame. I think that's the way I want to do it. A sneaky flame. And of course, it's not a real flame. It's a painted on flame. Painted by dudes. Over to there. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, let's chase it with some flame orange. Oh yeah, print out more vehicles. Thunder, 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 cats, ho! <laughs> yeah, every once in a while on a live stream, let's get a song stuck in my head that just won't leave. It is a good theme song. So you certainly can't fault it. Oh, it's definitely colorful. And then, how's my scarlet doing? 
Still feels pretty good. That's been hanging out for a while now. Let's feather the edges with it. Stop watching Thundercats. When the new cast joined, as you had no idea who they were until you bought the DVD. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have the show stuck in my head, just the theme song. Who were the new cast in the Thundercats? I never really watched it, so. I really only know the main people Panther. Is it Panther? Lionel, Chitara, weird little cat kid. Okay. I'll tap a little more down here, actually. Pooling. Pumra, that's it. Blind cat. Sounds kind of familiar. It's too much to have it on that leg, too. Each flame is supposed to be different, too, so I don't have to copy this pattern. I think I'll mix a little yellow, a little orange. Do a little stippling. Oh, too much. Beowulf needs two little tiny dots on his little eyeballs. And then all the color blocking is done. I'll have to decide where to go next.
Hmm. Oh, yeah, I still need some more. Hmm. White ink. Right here. All right. No, not that way. Hmm. Maybe. All right, let's try it. The uh, weapons, these guys are all heavy uh, lasers on the stone rhino too. And then these are still goss. I don't know if it's heavy goss or just regular goss, but they're goss. And then, I can't remember the Beowulf. I'm going to have to look up his armaments. That's why I'm only going to do the base colors. I'll have to research the next bits. I mean, I pretty much know what I'll do for heavy lasers. I'll end it there. Yeah, this guy's got a pretty good variety. The original Stone Rhino was two Goss rifles, two large pulse lasers, and a small pulse laser, I'm going to say. Uh-oh, video was buffering. Hooray! Just say no to buffering. Uh, Out of here. Where'd you come from here? Oh yeah, the original Stone Rhino was way better looking. This looks goofy. But I had to have one, so I bought it. Ooh. Hit my camera with my paintbrush. Alright, orange. Let's do it.
Yeah, I wanted the original, but I was never able to buy it. I didn't know I wanted the original. Until I knew. I mean, that's really what drew me into Battletech was the original. Stone Rhino. I never really thought about buying the miniature for some reason until the mid-2000s. And then I had to have one. And since I couldn't get the original, I got this guy. be told though the original miniature was not that good looking either it's kind of the proportions were weird compared to the line art which was the case for a lot of the 3055 unseen ones the hellhound's the best looking out of all the 3055 2c's i'd say in its original form not very good looking in its reiteration And then there was a third Hellhound that was specifically for Mech Warrior 4, which looked completely different from everybody else. But kind of looked like a Cauldron Born. Or an Ebon Jaguar. That's for sure. I have a Phoenix Hawk 2C. I think. Not a Phoenix Hawk. Maybe it is a Phoenix Hawk 2C. It's pretty ugly, though, compared to the Align Art. Though some of the Align Art would have been hard to translate, I think. There is that. Yeah, yeah, it was a big boy. That Phoenix Hawk 2C.
Not bad, not bad. Yeah, the regular one was light enough to be a lamb. So, what's the maximum for a lamb? 45, I think. And then, here. So maybe the Phoenix Hawk was 45. All right, pretty bright. Hey, Play Painted, how are you doing? You got some games going on this weekend? Are you keeping it low key? Ooh, sweaty. How long have I been doing this now? Let's see. I am at one hour and 30 minutes. Ooh. Not too shabby. Sure you can. All right, so that's my base colors. This guy. I just want to do some flaming barrels. I don't know. Do you want to do flaming barrels? Maybe. Ooh, Aristea or Marvel Crisis Protocol. I bet Bythron wants to play some Marvel Crisis Protocol. I watched some how to play Aristea videos and I did definitely not pick up on that. I had no idea what was going on and then I fell asleep. So let's pepper a little bit of that in. Haven't played MPC MCP yet. Hopefully it's good. I don't know if I've ever actually heard anyone talk about how good the, or bad the game is. So it's probably a good sign. That's no one's saying how bad it is. At the very least.
Yeah, I've never played MOBA either. The game definitely looks interesting. But I fell asleep. Trying to figure out how to play it. There's a local guy, Bythron knows him, Dan, who offered to teach me how to play it. And I said, yes, I will learn. And then COVID hit, so I never learned. Ooh, it's on fire. Yeah. Well, Battle Mech's got to be flashy. You know, they don't hide. No hiding. I think I'll do this. For all my original star. I like it. It's fun to paint at least. It's pretty relaxing. Yeah, now Dan's moving. Sometimes I can learn how to play a game by watching a video. Sometimes. I think Camo and Mechas looks good, but I just feel it's more classic if they look flashy. A lot of little moving parts, like a board game. I feel like it's one of those games where if I played it, I would probably figure it out. But we need someone to play it against. Definitely nobody in my family would be interested in playing it. <laughs> yeah, I agree, play painted. But camo does look really good on mechs. No denying it. But flashy also looks good on mechs. Plane looks good on mechs. Everything looks good on mechs. It's hard to mess up a mech, honestly. As long as you preserve all the detail, it really doesn't matter how you paint it. They're just doing the work for you for the most part. Unless it's a really crappy sculpt. Coming together. Ooh, you're going to paint some Walking Dead minis. I've heard those are pretty adequate quality. And fun to do. Yeah, people always say good things about the Walking Dead game. Oh, okay. So Horizon Zero Dawn is a mech game thought it was but then I was getting confused with Horizon Wars so I was like oh is that are they different games and they are but they both have mechs
Oops. Is on the side level Walking Dead? Well, they see the Walking Dead, especially All Out War, is a true miniatures game. Well, Zombicide's a board game. And that can make a big difference for a lot of people. All right. We'll dot a couple more bold dots over there. Two player skirmish. And then there's the Here's Negan, which is a board game, I think, that you can play solo. But you can also use parts of it for Walking Dead, All Out War. If I remember correctly. I've noticed in painting videos, it freaks me out if people paint like this, where they just have like this giant brush with no fingers coming in and painting the miniature. I don't know why. It's starting to weird me out. I need to see some fingers in there. I can't just see a brush tip. Or is this just too strange? I probably didn't need to paint that. Okay, well, that's it. Well, I rubbed off some of that because this thing won't stay on there. Hit my goal. Getting the base colors on these. They don't look too shabby. I think I'll have to do a bit of panel lining. Work on the cockpit, on this one at least, and the lasers. Figure out what this guy has. What should be glowing? I'm pretty sure this should be glowing in the center. I don't know what's going on with those little mouth mandibles. Maybe I'll do something with those. And I gotta highlight a little bit on the ashy bits. Otherwise it's good. All right, I'm gonna end the stream and go to bed. I'm tired. I'm ready. My body's ready. Ready for sleep. I don't even have to wake up to anybody in the morning. Just myself and work. And I don't work too early, so that's good. So, I'm going to say bye-bye to everyone. Thanks for coming by, hanging out. It was fun to chat. I'm a little spacey, so I apologize for that. But, yeah, good times. All right, bye. And go to my screen. That one.